What's going on guys, Tutorial 6 here, back for another Playmobil review, because we've been doing these frequently it seems. Anyway, this is the Playmobil uh, Vankman with uh, Zool and the two Terror Dogs set. Uh, accessories, you get another trap here, uh, same sticker details as before. You get another PKE meter, just like that, so that's cool. Of course you get the stream accessory and of course he's got his proton pack. There is no Slimer in this set, but we still get a slimed Vankman, so eh, it's okay. Uh, we'll pull out Ray and see if it's the same pattern uh, for the, the slime. You do get Zool. Zool's awesome. Uh, nice detailing on the uh, paint here. Uh, you do still get to have a waist there, so she could ride in the Ecto-1 if you wanted to. Hey, inappropriate, guys. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so uh, it's Zool. She's got the arms, the head rotation, the creepy red eyes. Uh, I love it. It's a great little minifigure. And then, of course, you get the Terror Dogs. And the Terror Dogs are probably the whole reason you would buy this set. And this set is relatively inexpensive. Um, the Terror Dogs do have mouths that open, uh, which is nice. Um, the heads go up and down. Pretty pretty far down too so I mean you can get a good range out of that um, I guess your, your terror dog could be kinda climbing something here the arms do go back and forth no articulation outside of that and the back feet go like this so if you want that that scene where they're kinda pouncing I guess all you need is a, a stand just like this and you can have them pouncing on poor Lewis Tully there I will say these are one of the best terror dogs I've ever messed with they're certainly better than the uh, Lego Terror Dogs, and there's there's absolutely nothing different. You could make the horns different because they just kind of push on in um, to the play, into the sides of the head there. But I mean, whatever. Terror Dogs, they're awesome. So here we go. We've got the Ecto One here, and uh, we can pull right out here, and let's just take a look. Now the slime pattern is different than the marshmallow pattern. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead. We'll. Toss Ray back in the car here. And uh, Janine, you're probably going to have to leave soon because we're getting a little bit of a full load here. So we go ahead and take the uh, backpack off. And we'll put that into the final spot we have available here, which looks like because of the trap we're having problems. Let me rearrange that real quick. One thing I did notice, because uh, Peter's hair did come off, which is just held on like that but uh, without it coming off I never noticed that he has like one kind of raised eyebrow so that's that's kind of fun uh, I wish Ray came with an alternate headpiece like this uh, just so we could take the goggles off if we wanted uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll put Peter in the car here he can sit in the very back as you see we have all four in here but we're gonna go ahead and preemptively take Janine out of here because uh, you know, she's going to be replaced. Of course she's going to be replaced. I'm sorry, Janine, but your job is to sit behind the uh, desk and take the calls and say, Ghostbusters, what do you want? Anyway, this is T2RXX. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review, and I'll see you next time.